When this course was created first, we relied solely on the Win App Driver UI Recorder for inspecting various elements of Windows application which we would be automating. I recently came across another tool which we can use for looking into various application elements. I have added this new section to this course to show you just that because I believe it has the potential to make your life easier, much easier. This tool is called Appium Desktop Client. You can download it from Appium's website. Before we proceed, please remember that there are two prerequisites for using Appium Desktop. One, you need to enable the developer mode on your Windows 10 PC and two, you need to have WinApp Driver 1.1 or above installed on your PC. Please note that you don't need to install Node.js before doing this, before installing the Appium Desktop Client. So let me Google quickly Appium Desktop Client and show you the results. I'm going to click the downloads link over here. And inside here, I'm going to click this link Appium Desktop for OS X, Windows and Linux. I will click this. When we'll click this link, it will take us to the GitHub repository of the Appium Desktop project. Here you can see Appium Windows 1.15.1.exe. Once you download this, you'll have to install it. And when you have installed it, you will be able to proceed to the next videos. I have already downloaded and installed this package on my machine. In the next video, we'll start using Appium Desktop for inspecting Windows applications. Please note that you can use the same utility to inspect apps on other Appium supported platforms such as Android and iOS. But you'll need to have the proper tooling installed for that. And you know, in any case, it is beyond the scope of this course. So see you in the next video. Before we proceed with using Appium Desktop Client, please start the winappdriver.exe file. I have a shortcut on my desktop and I will start it here. Now let us run the Appium Desktop Client which we installed in the previous video. You will be able to find it in your Windows applications. So I will click the start button here and I will type Appium and here you see Appium app is displayed. Now click the Appium icon to open the application. The Appium desktop client can take a little while to open. So be patient. I will cut forward to save you the agony, but it can take like 30 seconds. So here it is. On the main Appium UI, go to the file menu and select new session window menu option. You can press Ctrl N if you like. A new pop-up dialog will open. We will select custom server over here. On the custom server tab, I will leave the remote host field as it is 0.0.0.0 and the remote port as well, I will leave it unchanged 4723. In the remote path field, I am going to put a forward slash. After this, there is this table like UI. where we can specify the desired capabilities. You can save the presets as well, but for now we are going to create a new set of desired capabilities. In the very first name text box, I am going to put the text app, AWP app. You remember we specify a desired capability app 
in our code i have shown you how to do that so here we are going to put app and in the value field i am going to put either the path of the application which i want to run or the user mode id in this case i am going to bring in the user mode id of the calculator application i have already copied it to the clipboard i am going to paste it in the value field Oops, actually control v that's going to work you must have noticed that there's a field called json representation on the right side this is being computed based on the desired capabilities which we specify over here so now i'm going to click the start session button so the appium client has connected to the instance of win app driver which is running right here and the win app driver has launched the calculator application for us and it has returned a preview which is being displayed in the appium desktop client over here you can hover the mouse on various controls of the application under test you can hover the mouse on various controls of the application under test you'll hover the mouse inside the preview which is displayed by the appium ui inspector the controls which you will be hovering your mouse on are going to be highlighted let us end this video right here and in the next video i am going to show you a few more things about the functionalities of appium object inspector so see you in the next one once we have created a session in appium client we will be able to inspect various elements of the loaded application for example if i hover the mouse on these buttons they turn yellow i'm doing it in the appium pop up i mean i'm not doing it on the calculator application i'm doing it on the appium desktop ui inspector pop up the ui over here is pretty simple there is a row of buttons on the top select elements is right now clicked it is toggled by default and then we have the application preview loaded down below the other buttons we don't really need to know much about them for now so down below we have the application preview now if i click on any item over here you will see that the element under the cursor is highlighted yellow and some information is being displayed about it on the right side of the ui let me maximize this so over here you can see we have various very useful properties which we can use for automation purpose for example the automation id is being displayed over here the name attribute is also being displayed here we can also utilize this for our automation and in the center we have the complete hierarchy of the controls of this application for example if you expand this window you can see that there is this button and then there is this text you see all of this stuff is being displayed over here and if i click on a node in the xml it gets highlighted in the application in blue so this is how you can basically inspect the elements of the ui of any application you see here is a group here is a group 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 and this group contains various buttons and on the right side the information keeps changing the selected element information keeps changing so this is a really wonderful ui inspector although it is dependent on win app driver but i really like it so this is how you can use it to find various attributes of the application which you are trying to test there are some other benefits as well i am going to show you those in the next video so this is the end of the current video this is how you can see various properties of your application under test so that you can use those in your automation so see you in the next video we can specify more additional capabilities using appium desktop client this is something which is not available in the win app driver ui recorder first of all let me close this session which i had opened previously i will 
click the quit session and close inspector button over here. So for example, I want to launch the notepad application and I want a file to be opened in it already. I can test that functionality right here in this APM desktop client UI inspector. So first of all, in the app key, I'm going to put the word notepad and then I'm going to click this plus sign over here. And right here, I'm going to put app arguments. And in the value field, I'm going to bring in the path of a notepad file, which I want to open. I will paste the path and I will remove the double quotes because this is going to be a text value by default. You see here we can change the type of the value. And now I'm going to click the start session button again. Here you see that the notepad application has launched and it has got a bunch of text.txt file already loaded inside of it. You can use the same technique with Microsoft Excel as well. It will launch Excel and it will contain a file in it. Let me close this session. And you see, there are some applications which show a splash screen when they launch and the splash is often mistakenly considered the main application window by the Win app driver. And this leads to some automation failures. For example, if I launch the Outlook application over here, I will delete this app arguments capability from here and I will launch Outlook application over here. So the application is loaded, but the preview will not load for a very long time and it might fail as well. So the solution is that you should use WinAppDriver 1.2. It's an RC version, but I believe it will be the next version because it has been there for so long. So you see the preview is still like loading. So it means something went wrong. I will quit session and close inspector. I will come here and close the outlook as well. And now I'm going to add a new capability over here. So this desired capability is specific to WinAppDriver 1.2 RC. I am going to put here ms colon wait for app launch and over here I'm going to put time in seconds. How many seconds do we want to wait? Like I will put 10 over here and now I'm going to click start session. All right. So now you can see that it waited for a while and now it has loaded the preview. So you can use this technique to handle the applications which display a splash screen on the startup. Here you can see all the information about various nodes of Microsoft Outlook are being displayed and you can see entire UI tree over here as well. So this was it for this section and this was it for this video. I hope you would have found it to be useful and please feel free to reach out with questions and suggestions i would love to add more videos to the course i would love to answer your questions i'm here to help you and thank you very much see you later have a good day bye